this video, we're going to look at some YouTube settings you should know about. As many of you know, YouTube have made some changes over the last year to maximize your video uploads. So in this video, we're going to look at the YouTube settings you need to know about. With YouTube Studio, YouTube have done their best to streamline the process of uploading videos. And normally, if you want to upload videos, just follow the process that YouTube have laid out and you shouldn't have any problems. However, there are some settings you will need to know about to maximize your views when you upload your videos. So let's get started. I'm gonna jump on a computer and show you the steps. Firstly, click on your avatar profile picture on the top right here. If you're already signed in, you'll see the gray camera icon here. Hover over it and it says create. Click the button here and then click on upload video. From here, simply just drag and drop your video file into the area or the other option is to select files. This will open up the finder window. You can select your files from your computer and your video will upload from your computer. Here's a tip. If you have the ability to name your video file the same as your video title, it will help with your video's searchability. As you know, YouTube is a search engine. It will also help populate the video automatically when you upload it. YouTube is the second largest search engine, so SEO, search engine optimization, is very important. So that's why I mentioned the title should be the same. It should also mention the title in your description and your tags. I'll go into this further in another video. Okay, once you've uploaded your video, you will see at the bottom here the progress as YouTube process your video. This is dependent on your internet connection speed. The faster your speed, the faster it will upload. YouTube does the processing in the background. If you upload a 4K video that's 10 to 15 minutes, obviously this will take longer. If you've got a fast connection, happy days. If you've got a slower connection, just be a little bit patient. Once it's finished, YouTube will let you know. So your video's uploaded and your title is populated. If you need to change the title, you can change it here. Also, an important step is to make sure that the title is included in the description and also use the words that are in the title in your description a few other times. This will help with searchability as keywords are important. Once the description is done, we'll next move on to the thumbnail. This is another highly important area. This is what catches the viewer's attention and it gets them to click rather than click on someone else's video. It's highly recommended that you upload a custom thumbnail. If you've created your own, click here and upload your custom thumbnail. Click on the upload button and select your thumbnail from your computer or device. Next, let's move on to playlist. This is an important section. You can add your video to an existing playlist if you have one, or you can click the button here at the bottom to create a new playlist. This helps with watch time as well as helps the viewers segment your content. Next, we're going to move on to a new feature which is in YouTube Studio. This is audience. What type of audience are your video suitable for? Is your video meant for kids or not? Although children may watch your video, is it suitable content for children? If it is made specifically for children, click yes. If it's not made specifically for children, then click no. Now go ahead and click on the age restriction in the advanced tab. If your content is made for viewers over 18, then click yes. If your content is suitable for all, then click no. Do not skip this next step. Some people skip this next step. However, I want you to look into this more option here. This is where you can add more details on your video. Paid promotion. Does your video contain a paid promotion like product placement endorsements? as it says. If so, click here and you can add a message in your video to let the viewers know that it's a paid promotion in your video. The next step is also important, tags. Add some tags and keywords that are in your video. There is an easy way to find the exact tags that you should use in your videos based on your title and the subject. Go on to recording date and location. I tend to leave this, however, if you want to put the recording day and the video location, you can just add it here. Underneath the recording and location, you'll see license and distribution. This is very important. You can have the standard YouTube license or the Creative Commons. The Creative Commons will mean anybody can use your content and it won't be a copyright strike against them. If you don't want anybody to use your content, click on standard YouTube license. If you want to know more about YouTube licensing, simply click under licensing types. Next, 
you'll see allow embedding. This will allow your videos to be embedded into other sites and allow people to embed your videos in their websites, etc., blog posts. Great way to generate traffic. So I'd say yes, let them embed your videos. Great way to draw more attention. The next step is if you want to allow your subscribers to get a notification every time you upload a video. If you want them to get notified, which is highly recommended, then put a check mark here. Moving on to comments and ratings. You can select which one applies. You can, so you can either allow all comments, hold potentially inappropriate comments for review, hold all comments for review, or disable comments all together. After this section, we're gonna move on to the next section, which is monetization. If your channel is monetized, then go ahead and either click the navigation on the top here. You can either click the navigation on the top to go to monetization, or just click the next button here and select which ones you want to apply. Now, I'm not gonna give any advice on which ones you should use. It depends on your circumstance. And I may go into this in a future video. I mean, some people, if the video is longer than 10 minutes, you're allowed to have an advert at the beginning. You can put one in the middle and one at the end. If your video is shorter than 10 minutes, you cannot have one in the middle, one at the beginning, middle and end. But you'll need to be a YouTube partner to be able to monetize your videos. That means you'll need 4,000 watch hours in a year and also you will need a thousand subscribers. Under suitability, this allows you to self-certify, basically to stay if your content is suitable for certain audiences. You can get very specific here with this self-certification, but if your video has none of the above, then click none of the above, but make sure what you're stating is correct because YouTube have artificial intelligence, which has the ability to understand what's in your video and what you are saying. So if you, what you're saying and what you have described is different and need to self-certify, then your video may get demonetized. Next, we'll move on to elements. You can either do this by clicking next or click on the top, take you to the element screen where you can add an end screen and you can add cards. The end screen will allow us to promote other videos on our channel or on YouTube. In the end screen, the screen, you can select different templates that you already have. You can select one which is suitable for yourself. The round icon is the subscribe icon. Now you've added the end screen you can add cards this allows you to promote a video during or videos during your videos you'll hear other content creators say in the card above this is refers to the card it's the eye icon above the screen on the right hand side the next section is visibility you can state your video to go public you can choose how you want to publish your video but if you state your video to go public it will go public as soon as you have finished if you do this make sure the video has finished processing you can do that over here on the right you'll see a link to the video here you can click to check to make sure that it is fully processed by YouTube before you click save the next one is unlisted if you have an unlisted video anybody with the link can view the video if the video is set to private which is what I normally do set my videos to private until my video is ready to go or I use the schedule feature However, when uploading, the upload defaults that I use is set to private. You also have members only. The members section is not to be confused with subscribers. Then you have schedule. Now, what you can do here is set your video date and time and which you want it to go live. Very key feature if you're uploading lots of videos, you can set exactly when you want it to go live. You also have the ability to premiere. This will allow you when the video goes live, you schedule it when it goes live, it will give a countdown and then the video will go live and you can also interact with your subscribers and viewers at the same time as your video goes live. If you're gonna do this, make sure you have something that is gonna impact the viewer, something worthwhile, make sure you have something of substance to go to use the premiere feature for. Next you'll see the screen and then you click close and then you're all good to go. That is how to properly upload a video to YouTube. There are all the settings you should know about. Next time you go and upload, I hope it brings you some success. I hope you found some value in this video. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I deliver videos like this one weekly to help individuals, creators, entrepreneurs and businesses just like yourself get online with video. Thanks for watching and I'll see See you in the next video. I <laughs> can't say licensing, 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 licensing. I hope it brings you some.
I hope it brings you some success.